Bonjour. Oh, that's silly. I should just say hello, shouldn't I? This is the Orient Kano. It's a new diver's watch from Orient, a subdivision of Seiko. This is called the Orient Kano, or sometimes referred to as the Orient Ray 3. I've even seen it called the Orient Mako 3, but I don't think it's a Mako. I think it's a, it's a Ray 3, if anything, um, but I'm sticking to Orient Kano. I think that sounds really cool. Let's have a little look at it, shall we? It's a matte black dial with uh, applied indices. Sword hands, the hour hand has a little bit of detail on it. Plenty of loom in those indices on the hands and on the second, on the tip of the second hand. It's got date and day complication with these nice parallel horizontal lines to, to frame the windows. The Orient logo, or Orient automatic logo and water resist 20 bar, so 200 meters. It's got a screw down crown, let's undo that, uh, with hacking movement. So if I pull the crown out, the second hand stops. Everything else is kind of standard. Change the date and day with the, the, the crown. Hand winding. Let me just look up what the uh, movement is. It won't be a second. It is an Orient Caliber F6922 automatic hand winding, hand winding hacking movement. Got a bezel around the outside, really nice burgundy, sort of deep red bezel with 120 clicks. Oh, it's a really nice clicking action. Smooth, a little bit of backward play. Put it back to what it should be. There we go, perfect. Uh, the sides of the watch are polished with the uh, lugs sloping downwards. Uh, the back, quite plain. Uh, it's got a little logo underneath the sticker there. It says water resistant, 220 bar, stainless steel, movement Japan, model number, Epson. It's got a really nice silicon strap uh, it's very supple. Um, it's stamped Orient. There, can you see? At uh, the other end, we've got the uh, Orient logo. Can make that out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's nice. It's a nice watch. Okay, let's put it on. Let's see what it looks like on the wrist. It's really. It is really comfortable. No doubt about it. Really comfortable watch. It's a good size. I've got seven and a half inch wrists and uh, we'll do some dimensions in a sec of the watch. But I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, I'll take it off and we'll measure it so you can see what the dimensions are. Just before I do that, just notice that the crown is signed. Can you see that? Nice little thing, nice little touch. I'll, cross, I'll screw the crown back in. Okay, let's measure it. So across the the width of the watch, we're talking 44 millimeters. The thickness is 13, yeah, 13 millimeters. The lug width, 22 millimeters. And lug to lug is 50 or 51 millimeters. So it's a substantial watch, but it's very subtle. It's quite, it's kind of modest. Uh, it's, it doesn't shout out. It's not a loud watch. It's a very um, subtle watch. It's very nice. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Uh, if, you, if you could subscribe, that would be really good. You'll see lots of other cool videos. And uh, I'll see you soon.